Hi, welcome to another computer tutoring training session. Today we're still in Microsoft Word and we're going to be talking about how to use page breaks um, and why they're you know, really good for us. They're going to help our document to look professional and help it so that we can um, work with ease, especially within a long document. Also how to insert and delete pages and um, to add a front cover. So let's get started. I've got a document here. It's a very short story with very short chapters. Um, and basically, as you'll see, each one of the chapters is a heading and I want to place these on separate pages. Now, what most people would do is just press return on their keyboard many times until they achieve the desired results. Um, now this looks okay at the moment, but the problem is if I want to add more content to my story, I'll show you. So if I just copy and paste this, then look what happens to chapter two. It's pushed it all the way down. So I would then have to do this. Um, and then if I wanted to add more content, I'd have to do it again. So we can see that that's not really very good practice. So if I just use my trusty back button and uh, go back to the beginning. Okay, so this is how to insert a page break. So I've got my cursor where I want the page break to be. Along the uh, ribbon at the top, if you select the insert tab and then go to page break, I'm just going to um, highlight that for you. There we are, page break. I think uh, you should be able to see that. There, okay. And also we'll be looking at cover page and blank page later, so don't forget where this is. So page break, okay. So click page break, and you'll notice that chapter two now has dropped down to the next page. If I do the same with chapter three, I'll just insert there the end insert page break and they're now all on separate pages now you might think well that looks the same as before which it does but if I want to edit now a chapter so let's try and add that extra text in again let's see chapter 2 hasn't been pushed down it's remained in the same place so however much text I add in now to chapter 1 2 or 3 it will always keep a heading at the beginning of the of that page so um, it will keep your document looking very neat and tidy and which is great for when you want to send it to print so that's how to do a page break now if you want to take away a page break let's see what to do so if on your ribbon you select home and then you come along to this it's called the show hide button looks like an upside down note if I just um, show you there there that's it there so that's the show hide button and basically this shows all non-printable characters um, of which a page break is one so if I click on that and I scroll down I can actually see it says page break so if I just delete that my page breaks gone so it's basically as simple as that delete and it's gone so um, very easy to add them and to take them away so I'm gonna if I want to take now that marker off the show hide marker I simply press it once more lovely so I'm now going to insert those page breaks again insert page break and uh, do the same here insert page break okay now say I want an extra page um, for nothing, I, I'm not worried about adding another page break. I just want an extra page to work on now. So again, some people might just press the return key until they receive until they another page is generated. Or if I just go back to insert, and this time I'll select blank page, which is this one here. So insert blank page. And as you can see, a blank page has now been generated. Now, if I want to delete that page, because this is a new page, actually, it's quite easy. I should just be able to press delete um, and it goes. I'll just insert another one. Um, 
But sometimes uh, there are problems deleting uh, blank pages and what it can be is that there can be non-printable characters on them and we just can't see them. So again that's another way we can use if I go back to home and press this show hide button it will show those characters uh, the formatting on that page and then you can simply um, delete it. There we are. Um, and that will also delete the page. I'll click back on the show hide button to delete those markers. Lovely. So I've got my document now and I've got my headings on the right pages. Now I'd like to have a nice cover and that obviously needs to go in at the beginning of the document. So go back to insert on the ribbon and now we want to select cover page. Okay so that's uh, this one here. Cover page, lovely. So insert cover page and I think I would like uh, this one, it's called filigree and I can add in my title. There we are. So I've got a lovely cover page and my story below. Now I might think tomorrow, you know, I don't actually like that filigree style, I'd like to go for something a bit more modern. Then I simply go back to cover page and at the bottom there's an option here, remove current cover page. So if I select that, sorry, the page disappears. So I hope you've enjoyed that brief session on how to use um, the page breaks and using the show hide marker and inserting and deleting pages. Uh, if you've liked this video, please press like and subscribe for further videos. Take care, bye.